Hi, I'm Sandy from the Home Depot Rental Center. When you need a compact pressure washer that can tackle projects like cleaning your car, porch, deck, or patio, we offer the Karcher Electric Pressure Washer. This unit is lightweight and easily transportable, supplying maximum maneuverability. Before using, make sure to read and understand all safety instructions outlined in the operator's manual. As with the operation of any power equipment, be sure to wear the proper safety gear, including safety glasses, sturdy closed-toe shoes, and gloves. Keep the operating area clear of all people. Never direct the spray at others, animals, electrical devices, or the unit itself. This machine can cause serious injury if the spray penetrates the skin. Never use acids, alkalis, solvents, or any flammable material in the unit. These products can cause damage to the machine and the operator. To reduce the risk of electrocution, keep all connections dry and off the ground, and never touch the plug with wet hands. To get started, make sure the nozzle is installed at the end of the spray wand. Next, attach the high pressure hose to the spray gun and pressure washer connections, then hand tighten. It only takes a 360 degree turn to tighten these connections. Connect the pressure washer to a garden hose and turn on the water. Plug the power cord into a properly grounded 120 volt outlet and push the reset button on the GFCI plug. To turn the machine on, set the appliance switch to I. Release the safety by sliding the safety tab toward the back of the trigger gun. When you're ready to begin spraying, make sure to use both hands, one on the wand and the other to squeeze the trigger on the spray gun. This pressure washer is equipped with auto start and stop, which means that when the machine is on and you pull the trigger, the pump turns on, and when you release the trigger, the pump turns off. It's not designed to be used with detergents. If you want to use a detergent, you can apply it with a separate sprayer or with a broom or brush, and then use the pressure washer to rinse. If you need to stop the unit at any time, simply release the trigger and secure the safety on the spray gun. To turn the unit back on, release the safety and squeeze the trigger on the spray gun. When you're completely done with your project, shut off the water supply. Squeeze the trigger on the spray gun and allow the machine to run for five to 10 seconds to clear out all remaining water. Release the trigger on the spray gun and engage the safety. Turn the power switch to off. Unplug the unit from the grounded outlet and disconnect the garden hose. When you're ready to return the unit to the rental center, make sure to wipe it down with a rag. Do not use water to clean the pressure washer. Properly secure the unit in your vehicle for transport. The handle can be pushed down and the unit can be stored and transported both horizontally and vertically. Visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com slash rental to learn more about the best tools for your next project.